hitting the meat aisle, then checking out is forcing consumers to reach deeper into their wallets. Well, we've definitely seen the price of meat go up. Um, not only meat, but fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, anything healthy. Food prices are being hit with higher costs across the board. But Food for Less meat manager Liam Callahan says the hardest hit is, is beef. Demand is high, but there isn't enough supply. The statistics say that our cattle production now is like they were in the 1940s. Part of that is, as time goes by here, a lot of little ranchers have disappeared because they've been forced out of business by the price of everything. Leon also says some meat prices have doubled per pound. Bad news for consumers. Oh, especially at the grocery store. And at a time of year where people are focused on health, the higher food costs put a damper on some New Year's resolutions. We're actually on the bandwagon with everybody else, trying to eat healthy as of the new year and, and trying to get started. And, and you know, so when you're switching from the junk food to the healthy food, you really notice the price difference. And for those going out to eat, some restaurants have had to adjust their menus to make ends meet with the high cost of meat. And unfortunately, every time food prices go up, you can't raise your prices for your customers. Um, so in that regard, it's, you know, we've cut back on actually some of our meat soups. Wamba Juice owner Sage Taylor says the drought is to blame for the increased food prices. Pork prices are all going up because the uh, farmers aren't able to keep feeding the animals. So they're killing off livestock. And I think there's a lot of people that don't realize that that's even happening. Some say there is hope for the prices to go down, but don't hold your breath. They're building herds up again now, but it's going to be a year to two years before you start seeing any significant difference in pricing. Covering your news in Medford, Justin Matthews, News 10.